Hello, it's Saturday the 24th of February and it's Ken from Pine Finders Old Pine Furniture Warehouse. I've just had another delivery of furniture so I'm going to show you on video everything that's just arrived. So we're going to start, we'll start, where should we start? We'll start here and what I'm going to do is this is just an example for the moment. I'm going to show you around the cupboard or wardrobe or whatever it is. Then I'll quickly show you the ticket. That's the price ticket, the code at the top, which is W1902C. And then the price in the bare wood, if it's in the bare wood, for, you'll, sorry, if it's in the bare wood, it'll have two prices. The first price will be in the bare wood price. The second one will be when it's all waxed. Then on the back of the ticket, I'll show you the dimensions. So height, width, and depth. If it's on a wardrobe, then you'll have an extra dimension at the bottom, which is the internal depth. In other words, the hanging space. So that will be slightly different for wardrobes. So without further ado, here's a nice big storage cupboard, a drawer at the top, two doors, and it has shelves inside. Obviously, any of this furniture you'd like more information on, then let me know. I'm going to put it all on the website and you'll have photographs of each piece and a video of each individual piece. And I'll be talking you through everything as well. So those are the prices, 460 as it is, 5270 if you'd like it waxed, and the code number at the top, top W1902C. The height, 55 inches, the width, 42 inches. The width will always be at the deepest point, the height at the highest point, and the de depth at the deepest point. Width at the widest point, I think I should have said. So next we have a lovely glazed, partly glazed cupboard, two drawers and two doors at the bottom. And I'll just quickly show you the label. So if you want any more further information about any piece before you see it on the website in its proper category, just let me know and I can give you the information. A lovely chest of drawers with column, columns on the side, very tidy one. There's a very old hanging cupboard. This has actually been reserved for somebody. So let me know if you're interested. If they don't go for it, I think they were pretty keen. But if they don't go for it, let me know. I can give you the details on that one. We have a couple of small benches at the top here that have been made. These have been made from old wood. There's that one. And then this one here. Beautiful Danish chest of drawers, with columns, sort of half columns on the side. And then a large storage cupboard, two drawers and two doors. And a one piece wardrobe. So this doesn't dismantle this wardrobe. This is just one piece. You can see the lovely columns on there. On this one as well. And it has a drawer, a drawer at the bottom, as you can see. Obviously wardrobes like this and cupboards. So there you go, the internal depth 19. So that's okay for hanging. Wardrobes and cupboards, I can Obviously, I would usually fit a hanging rail in a wardrobe and cupboards you might like shelved. So if it hasn't got shelves, I can fit shelves in things. Here's another storage cupboard. There's probably a vent, uh, larder cupboard that's been converted to, or it was originally made to be a larder cupboard with that vent in the front. See, that's got shelves inside. Then we have a nice German 1930s dresser. And a Danish cupboard 
or small wardrobe with two drawers at the bottom. This one does dismantle slightly the top section. So it's two pieces, this top section, and then it sits on the base. So that does dismantle slightly so that'll make it going up, upstairs a little bit easier. Obviously it goes without saying, going back to that sort of thing and this one piece wardrobe, if you've got dodgy stairs, then please measure carefully about those things going upstairs because I have been caught out many times. Victorian chest of drawers with a gallery, uh, not a wash back. And a small-ish dome top chest, trunk or box. What's next? Um, coming around there. So we've got, yeah, a knockdown wardrobe. So this totally dismantles this small wardrobe. Two drawers at the bottom. And it's nice and deep inside as well. So I'll show you that first. That's the code and prices. And you can see it's 20 and a half inch internal depth. So that's nice and deep, not very big, and it dismantles. So that's quite sought after this sort of thing. Sorry, I'll show you this first. Another very attractive small chest of drawers. Three drawers in this one. Small dresser base cupboard, two drawers and two drawers below. I'll show you from this side. Then we've got a flat top chest trunk. It's got the candle box. Lots of these boxes have for the, these candle boxes inside. What have we got next? Oh yes, lovely small desk. Two drawers above the knee hole and then you've got a cupboard door to the right with a shelf inside. Another flat top box, slightly larger than the other one. Then a small one door, one drawer cupboard with columns on. You can see the nice columns there. Come round to another small cupboard. One drawer at the top, two drawers below. Then a reclaimed cupboard. So this has been made from reclaimed pine. This long cupboard, lots of drawers and three doors in the middle. A nice bit of detail at the top. A useful storage cupboard. As I say, this isn't old, this has been made recently. We come round to a dresser, an old pine dresser. Again, somebody saw this yesterday and they reserved it, so this might have gone, but if you're interested, let me know. I can give you the details if they don't have it. have to turn this round another one door sorry one drawer two door cupboard and this has literally just come in this old mule, old mule chest needs a bit of work so a nice big mule chest it's got a drawer at the bottom there's the door and the door, the lid, the top. 
nice big things, nice old strap hinges. So I'm going to be working on this. So if you want some details about that, let me know. I haven't priced it up yet. Um, these two chest of drawers are now on the website. They came in a few days ago. I'll give you the code numbers anyway. So that's the first one. But as I say, these have been put on the website now. So that was the right hand one and that's the left hand one. This piece has just uh, literally just come in as well. This needs a little bit of work doing to it. Again, if you need some information, if you're interested in this one, let me know. Haven't priced it up yet or measured it. Um, right, let me come to some wardrobes. So this is a knockdown wardrobe, totally dismantled. It's a nice big one, and it's got two drawers at the bottom. So it totally dismantles for delivery, so it should go up any stairway. Then next to that, we've got a lovely column wardrobe. Again, large one, which totally dismantles for delivery. So again, it'll go up any stairway. Internal depth of 18 and a half, which should be fine for most things. Uh, the internal depth on the first one, on this one, I just did is 21. So that's really nice and deep on that one. And the next one, another large old wardrobe, two drawers at the bottom. And you can see on this one, the internal depth is 22. So that's even deeper. So that's really deep, that one. And then we come to another beautiful wardrobe, nice big knockdown wardrobe, but again, which totally dismantles like all of these, totally dismantles for delivery. Now this one has, no, that, the back totally dismantles at all. Sometimes they're just one panel back, but this, this is a, a slot back, so that's fine. And that's 19 inch internal depth. Then we've got an old pine larder cupboard with drawers, or I think they used to be called bread cupboards or pie cupboards. So you can see the door on the right has these metal vents. And you've got a couple of shelves inside and then you've got the drawers on the left. A Danish cupboard with two drawers at the bottom, two doors, and you can see it's got a couple of shelves in. Now this is actually, the internal depth is actually 18 inches, so you could use this for a small wardrobe. So you've got 18 inch internal depth. So I could take the shelves up, put a hanging rail in the top for you. You could use it as for hanging small stuff in, or short stuff. Then we've got a lovely Victorian chest of drawers with that splashback thing. A large dome top chest trunk with carrying handles. I'll show you inside. It has the shelf on the left hand side, which probably it's not really needed. I'd probably take that out. And then a slightly smaller dome top chest. And this one's got the candle holder on the left hand side. And here's the price. the dimensions there. Obviously the height 25 width 43 and a half and the depth is from front to back depth 22. Then we've got a couple of bookcases which have been made recently from reclaimed wood. These are just 100 pounds each as they are. 127 if you'd like them waxed.
And I think that's everything. Yes, I think that's everything. So if you'd like more details on anything you've just seen, then let me know. And I will be adding these to the website over the next couple of weeks. Usually probably take me a couple of weeks because we're so busy doing other stuff at the moment. I'm so busy polishing. So it'll probably take me a couple of weeks, but let me know if you want the details of anything. I can maybe put that on the website first for you or send you all the information by email or however you'd like it. And I hope you find something you like and I hope to see you soon.